Today we're going to talk about giving back because it's important to give back when you've acquired enough. I genuinely believe that and we talk about acquisition and successful businesses and so on and so forth. But what's the point of acquiring everything you need to acquire if you're not going to give back, especially not to your community. So once a year we have our Christmas uh, for the community event and it's been happening for the past three years where we bring um, Griffin Town is actually a very highly gentrified area. It's gentrification literally of a, an area called Little Burgundy. You could look it up, um, Google it. Little Burgundy is one of uh, one of the most historical black neighborhoods in uh, North America. So every year we make sure that some kids have a great time um, at our offices and they get some gifts and we have Santa Claus. You guys gotta see the Santa Claus. And this year we put a little twist on it where we're gonna be having some Kenza. <laughs> Right there. Follow me! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Say hi to Terry Lindor! Hi guys! Hi. Did you guys enjoy Santa? Yes. Did everybody get a gift? Yes! <laughs> That's my coach right there. Coach Concordia right there. <laughs> Russell Lucky. Jazz. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> what did you get for Christmas? Oh my god! Is that Spider Man? Did you get a cupcake? Did you get a cupcake? You did? Nice. Let me go see Berkey quick. Hey, we got big boys in the house. Soccer players, basketball players. What sport do you play? What? What? Are you guys gonna catch a cold, man? Where's your jacket? Huh? Where's your jacket? Where's his jacket? Huh? Okay, make sure you guys run there. Okay. Nick Mitri. Okay. Hey, what's up, Nick? Panda. Panda. <laughs> what's up with your the inspiration behind your ugly sweater? What? What happened? Yes, I get to it out. That's the ugliest sweater you could find. It is. It's a panda sweater. <laughs> No. Berkey, Yo, tell us more about your initiative. <laughs> tell us more about your initiative. Well, this holiday initiative, you know. Same no. Thing, what you're doing, I appreciate What's community what you're doing care right all now. about? What's oh, my truck about? Empowering the kids, empowering the youth, and giving them an opportunity to envision themselves doing something bigger and, and greater than what they're currently doing. So there we want go. to spark something Hi. special in them yep. for them to be able to go out and evolve and change. change the world. Exactly. Change the world and change what they're doing, their current situation. Right? How long have you been doing this? Uh, we've been at this since uh, as a foundation since 2012, but as a Red Rush, the, the leadership program since uh, 2005. So this has been a passion of yours? Yeah, a passion of ours, you know? A passion of ours, for, sh for sure. A passion of mine and, and it's grown into something much bigger. There's a, a real purpose and a real business opportunity for these kids to see how important giving back is and yep. to see how partnership, how networking, yep. how that alone can make a big difference in someone else's life. Good, good. Yeah. And and how do we how can we reach community? How can we contribute to what you're doing? Like Ray Max Griffintown contacted you pretty last minute, you put this together, you made sure that you mobilize a lot of kids that in order for them to have a better holiday season. How can how can somebody that wants to contribute and give how can they reach uh, Community Care? Uh, www.MontrealCommunityCares.com You'll see all the information will be there. Okay. To give you a better insight on what we're doing and what we're trying to do. What we're doing and what we're, is not even close to what we want to do yet. You know what I mean? Can you so, tell us a little bit about what you want to well, do? Well, what we want to do is really be uh, the go-to organization when it comes to uh, kids, uh, adolescents in, in need. Whether yep. it's whether it's from what age to what age? Well, through our leadership program, we start from the age of 10. Yeah. Right? 10 all the way up to CJ. So last year, CJ, you'd be part of the, the basketball leadership program. And so through that, gives the kids a lot of different ways to continue. Yeah. Continue their passion and continue through school. Yeah. Uh, they're chasing the basketball, but they're getting educated at the same time. And even more so, they're able to network and build uh, a resume of initiatives that they've taken part in, whether it's community service or whether it's just events or initiatives that we put together that they were able to be part of, right? Yep. 
dress differently, you see talk differently, you're able to see things from a different awesome. angle, you know? Awesome. Get out of the four corners of your neighborhood and see the world. And me and Berkey actually, we used to compete against each other. Yep. Always in respect. Yeah. Always lots of respect for yep. one another. Yep. Yep. Berkey used to be a, a superstar basketball player. And when I was younger, I used to look up to him. And now to see that one of my, let's call him an OG, but he's not an OG. That one of my elder is setting the ground for an example that I could strive to be. Uh, it was just a question of time. Yeah. Last year, we, we, didn't, we didn't go through. You guys went through the Burgundy Center. But I think we're going to try to work more and more Montreal Community Cares because they really care. And more importantly, because basketball is also a part mm. that unified yeah. and, and kind of like what we have in exactly, common. So exactly. I think that uh, working with you, yes. working with your organization could be, be really good. good. And I think we could, we could make a difference. And you're doing, you're doing big things, man. Respect and love, man. Trust me. Trust me. I'm trying. You know? Guys, that's all she wrote. Santa Claus passed. You guys missed. Santa Claus was real. But it was it, it was a good time. He actually sang some rap songs and whew, I don't know man. Never seen a Santa Claus like this. And he wore Air Jordans. Like he had me as Air Jordans. But again, thank you for joining in. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to uh, comment at the bottom. That bell on the right. Click on that, it's gonna notify you whenever I'm throwing out content like this. This was all about uh, showing how and why it's important to uh, give back when you acquire. So uh, we acquire, we transaction a lot in an area called Little Burgundy in Griffintown. So when you acquire, you gotta give back. So that was the point. Once again, click that little bell, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. More importantly, remember to smile and stay influential. Hello!